So you're thinking of moving to New Orleans. Well, you've come to the right spot. Today we're gonna to talk about Lake Shore and Lake Vista, and we're gonna cover all the pros and cons. So let's get to it right now. new to the channel welcome and hello I've been helping people for 18 years with their smooth move to the New Orleans area and I would love to help you whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days give me a call shoot me a text or send me an email my team is here to help we are sitting at the lake front of Lake Pontchartrain which is beautiful looking at an awesome sailboat I bet they're having a great time we're on Lakeshore Drive and we are across the street from Lake Vista Park. My, is that a mouthful. This area is a very, very planned out area. It actually started in the 30s as mostly marsh and fish and like nothing, but they really planned it well with lots of parks. And one of the really big things they did is they built this land up a lot. So it does not flood as much as like downtown New Orleans as an example. And surprisingly, you're on the South Shore and you're in Louisiana but most of the homes are actually in a flood zone X and that means that flood insurance is not required because it's not prone to flooding. That is actually really cool to be on the South Shore and have those benefits. As you can see behind me, it's a beautiful area. I love that there are, real, it looks like newly paved streets, although I'm sure they're not like so newly paved, but they're in great condition. There's actually designated bike paths, which is awesome. There are actually um, sidewalks, which is really, really cool. And you've got areas like this where I see people fishing. There's tons of birds. I saw somebody riding by on a scooter, which looked like a lot of fun, but I don't think I'll try it because I would probably injure a body part. Um, and then also saw some people riding by on bikes as well. A beautiful day like today. It's December, it's around 80 degrees outside. The clouds are gorgeous. And this is what you can expect if you decide to live here in this area. You will not be disappointed. When it comes to the cost of living, while we might think in this area that it's expensive, when you're comparing it to like New York or San Francisco, the cost of living is actually really, really low in comparison to those big cities. So you can get a lot for your money. In this area, you're not gonna have to go far to get some really cool grocery stores, which I know is a very important part of everyday living. You've got Trader Joe's, one of my favorites, Fresh Market, one of my favorites, Robert's, said that wrong before, that was funny. Um, and those are just a few of the really great grocery stores that you can choose from. In addition to that, there are so many restaurants to check out from seafood to Italian to just down home New Orleans, so much. You can never run out of places to eat. When it comes to the architecture, I'm really in love. I mean, they have Tudor style houses. They have contemporary style houses. They have like A-frame style houses. I know I'm not being politically correct in the architecture names, but it's just really, really pretty and a nice, nice variety of homes as well. Now, something that you could possibly view as a negative is there's not a lot of land here that's left. It's all been built on, just about all of it. So if you're looking for something brand new construction or you wanna build, it's probably not gonna be an area that'll be a good fit for you. But as I believe things come positively out of negative situations, and with Katrina really messing up a lot of the areas down here, a lot of the homes have been either rebuilt or completely remodeled. And so you get that newer feel than maybe the actual, when they were built in like the 40s or the 50s. So I think that's a really good thing. Now there is low inventory here because it's high demand and it's beautiful with all the green space and the beautiful oak trees and the variation of architecture and the renovations that have happened around here. So you're not going to have a lot of inventory to choose from. There are around 117 homes on the market right now and they're going really, really fast, like typically within days. So if this is an area you want to be in, which you probably should because it's really awesome, you're gonna to wanna to act really quickly in making those decisions, whether or not you wanna make the offer or whether you don't. Now, whether you live in, Bat I'm sorry, whether you work in Baton Rouge or downtown New Orleans, or even if you work right on the foot of the North Shore, this is a prime location to get to all of those things. 
You can get on 610 pretty easily. You can get on I-10 pretty easily. So I give this place a definite two thumbs up. Really aside from the low inventory, a little bit higher on the prices, there's not much bad I can say about Lakeshore Lake Vista. There's just really not. So I think it'd be a great place for you to choose. It is wonderful in relation to downtown New Orleans. And I don't know about you, but it's sure nice to sit back, relax, chill out, and enjoy such a beautiful view. And this could be yours. Thanks for tuning in to the video today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the content and I look forward to seeing you around town.